We've got a few photos oh, right. of you throughout, throughout your, your career, Eddie. So if, if it's all right with you, we'll yeah. pass them to you and you can No problem. Them. So uh, playing for Ranwick there, nice, used to have hair, nice to see those memories. And the guy behind me is Ewan McKenzie, who was the previous Wallabies case. That was one of our you know, very strong Ranwick teams. We had probably 11 or 12 Wallabies in that camp, Easy, the Ellers, Simon Poitavan. And that team in that era played against uh, New Zealand in 1988. I think we got beaten 21-9 by the All Blacks. It was the only club game they ever played. Started off as a flanker, open side flanker. Uh, then last year of high school, I moved to hooker. So like I was a small hooker, so you know I had to make up in other ways of uh, probably with my mouth more than anything. Yeah, that's the 2001 Brumby side. Uh, we were the first Australian team to win the Super Rugby. Uh, George Gregan was the captain. Ultimately, you love to win competitions, love to win trophies, but ultimately the, the great love of coaching comes from your ability to improve players. And you know, someone like George now, that's back in 2001. You know, I called him three weeks ago for a coffee and we still keep in contact. He was giving me advice on what England should do going forward. So it's great to have those relationships and those people, you know, are your friends for life. Okay, next one is next step on, really. Okay. 2003. Uh, so it looked happy then, but it wasn't too happy when Johnny kicked the field goal. So I always tell the story, if Johnny didn't kick that field goal, I'd be Sir Eddie and Sir Clive would just be Clive. You know, Clive was a guy that we had a, a great deal of fun with. You know, we were healthy competitors, enjoyed a bit of uh, toing and froing in the media, which I think was good for the game at that time. And you know, he's a guy that I highly respect. Yeah, I remember that. That was in Cape Town. So on our day off with the Wallabies, we used to play cricket. And there was a square at the back of the hotel we were staying at. And we'd go out and we'd play a cricket game. So it used to be a great deal of fun. Like Aussies love cricket. We used to be good at cricket. Now the English are better because they've got a good Aussie coach. Yeah, so that was with 2007 with Jake White. I came in late. Uh, 14 weeks to go before the World Cup. You know, I use the analogy, someone's already painted the house and I came in and just tidied a few spots up and that's what I did. And the, the interesting England story was we played England in the second round and uh, at half time we were ahead 30 nil. So in the Australian side, if we were ahead half time at 30 nil, we would have said, let's go out there and put 60 on it. And South Africans said, let's give them the ball in the second half and practice our defence and smash them. My learnings from that World Cup was that for whatever team you're coaching, there's something right for them. And you've got to make sure you don't take that away from them. Yeah, no, that wasn't too long ago. Uh, he's a big, big prop, that fella. He used to eat some sushi. I think he ate a few of our players. Uh, no, that was a yeah, it was a great time with uh, with Japan. You know, the, the big thing about Japan was that they hadn't done anything in world rugby, basically full stop. Hadn't won a game for 24 years, and what we were able to do was, was get them to believe they could do well, and then their human will took over that team. You know, they did things other teams couldn't think about. South African game was. It was terrible, mate, to be honest, because we had Scotland four days after. So we literally went back to the hotel and had a couple of beers, a couple of wines, and it was all over. We had to prepare for the Scotland game. So I think, yeah, you know, it's always nice to have a little ceremony at the end of the victory. You know, sit down with the players, make sure they enjoy, make sure they understand why they've got this, this enjoyment. And I think, again, you know, it goes back to having a good team. You've got to have a bit of fun. It's like the England team going forward. You want to see them have a smile on their face when they're not training, enjoy themselves around the place. So let's hope we see that.